Degenerosity internet trends. Let's see what he has to say about this. Let's see what my glorious king has to say. Okay, mannequin challenge. Don't know what this is. I don't remember some of these trends. The internet is a haven of many things. It is. Meme videos, music videos, X videos. The World Wide Web is what? a never X videos. Meme videos, music videos, X videos. The what is this video, y'all? I know it's not an X video. The pickle jar thing? Someone tell me in the comments below. I'm missing something. The internet is a haven of many things. Meme videos, music videos, X videos. The World Wide Web is a never-ending amount of information and media. True. And the biggest part of it, social media, is the way all of us can interact with each other no matter where we're from. And one of the most popular ways what we interact online and relate with each other is with trends. When I Google the definition of internet trends, it defines it as a post or an idea Idea that is hyped or popular yeah, for a certain period of time but i'd more describe it as people doing goofy shit just because it's fun and cool the trend yeah. usually starting with someone random online doing a funny dance or making up a challenge or whatever really that person's video goes viral then everybody who got a phone or camera this is how it is in the trend everybody got a hive mind they see one thing work for one person everybody doing it everybody want a little taste of clout Crazy how it works out here, man. And everybody who got a phone or a camera start participating. And the trend continues to grow and cement itself in pop culture. Till Damn, everybody mannequin. Or politician joins in on it, making it uncool instantly. Killing the trend overnight, <laughs> making us move on to the next big thing. This is the outcome for almost all trends and challenges. It's inevitable. All good things must come to an end. True. And as far as my opinion on them, I like most of them. As much as I hate on everything, really, I very much enjoy watching the latest <laughs> trends. They're usually very funny or at least oh. entertaining, even the dumb ones. Like what the heck was that? What is happening in this classroom? Entertaining, even the dumb ones. Like the crate challenge, I liked it. Stupid I mean, you never catch me doing that death trap back then, but I sure was. Do you know much of a hater you have to be to kick the crate over? Trap back then, but. Yo, as soon as I'm out the hospital, I got to fight, bro, that kicked the crate down. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to slash his tires. I'm pouring hot sauce in his cereal. Anything I can do, it don't matter. I'm getting my get back. I sure was dying of laughter from others failing at it. I don't really mind stupid trends or challenges when it's amusing. If a real life Hunger Games challenge started, I'd binge watch compilations of it. The trends oh. or challenges I don't like, though, are the ones I don't understand. Talk the ones me. that make me think, why would you do this to yourself? Who raised you? The skull breaker <laughs> challenge, where the challenge is you skull trip breaking. your friend on their back of their head and they get CTE. That, that's the challenge. The Why? Benadryl challenge, where the challenge was you eat a bunch of Benadryl, then die. The Tide Wait, Pod what? challenge, just the names alone are dead giveaways. You're gonna die doing it. Crazy thing, huh? I never hear of half what? of these challenges till someone kicks the bucket from it. The news talking that is about true. local team dies from the drink a gallon of elephant nut and butt juice TikTok challenge. And I never heard of that challenge. You might have made that one up, Degenerosity. What are you talking about? Elephant. I would know if there's elephant nut out there being challenged. I would be the first one on that challenge, Degenerosity. Don't be lying about nut when it comes to me, bro. I'm the nut nangler. <laughs> Local team dies from the drink a gallon of elephant and butt juice TikTok challenge. And I'm thinking, who the f doing that? Where do they obtain elephant ass juice? Exactly. How do they even find out this challenge exists? Making me think they made it up. They're just trying to get freaky with an elephant. Those are the dumb challenges I don't be getting. <laughs> you really trying to get viral that bad? It can't be that hard. Especially Ew. if you're a white girl. All you got to do is say an onomatopoeia of you giving head. Then gooners will make you set for life. It could all be so simple. I but wish I was. Have to make it hard. A woman. Doing the, the wombat challenge or whatever the kid. Pause on that. When I say that, it just seems like they got life on easy mode sometimes. All she said was hook to her, spit on that thing, and now she's famous for sucking. Bro, I, I wish I could do that. Out of context, don't clip me. It makes sense when I talk about it, but when I say it out loud, it just sounds dumb. But you rather make it hard by doing the, the wombat challenge or whatever the kids be doing nowadays. Treads, on the other hand, I look at them a little different. To me, it could be picked up on in everyday life, like in the way people dress, the way they talk, which new crypto coin to invest in, how to steal a car. Trends are very various in its topics. And one mm. trend I always thought was dumb was the money glitches, like the cash app and recently the Chase Bank money glitch. Chase. Where if you don't know, Navy. people were able to write fake checks and deposit a bunch of money into their accounts. But turns out you actually weren't allowed to do that. So all the people who did do it, they weren't showering in money. 
but instead took a bath and deck. Some of y'all mm. thought you could actually walk away with free money like it's a Mr. Beast challenge. Nah, nigga, that was an unannounced loan that Ooh. you have to pay back There's immediately. Money, there ain't no such thing as free money unless you rob people or scamming grandmas. Like, yes. did we learn nothing from that Cash App glitch last year, which was basically the same thing? Now, I ain't gonna lie. I fell victim for those free Cash App glitches in the past. Like, you in did? high school, I'd get those ads free 500 via cash app if you answer this survey and send us your account information and me back then being dumb and broke i was like shit sign me up i can finally cop a ps5 dj out the survey and Whoa, send it over like shit heck? sign me up i can finally cop a ps5 oh get off my screen oh I fill out the survey and send it over, and then they say my money will be there within a few business days. Next day, I then look at my cash app to find some nigga, probably named Eduardo, spending my cash app money on FUBU. I <laughs> sign up for this, where my free 500? A Since Fubu. then, I never trusted any kind of free money glitches that be trending. Although I The thing is, if you took money from somebody or like scam somebody for money, why the hell are you buying FUBU? Out of all things to buy, you decide to buy FUBU? How broke are you? I'm just saying like, damn, that's the first thing you buy when you get money is FUBU? Since then, I never trusted any kind of free money glitches that be trending. Although I'm pretty sure I just got scammed. But I digress. <laughs> How some of y'all fall for these free money glitches is beyond me. Y'all just broke. You should still have some sense in you. But now you have no sense on you. Just oh. know the next time a Wells Fargo free money glitch pops up, don't participate in it. It's a trap. Don't be stupid. Which takes me to this other thing, which is not really an internet trend or challenge or uh. anything like that. I just hate seeing people do it, and I have no idea how what is to it? bring this up in any future video. But cave exploring is the dumbest hobby I've ever witnessed. How? I see videos and pictures of these dudes going through dark, small-ass caverns where they have to wiggle like a worm for sometimes You claustrophobic. Miles, wiggling on rocks, dirty water, and bat piss. And I'm just thinking, why? Who is this fun for? Who is this appealing to? This White people. Torture. No racial. There are some weird hobbies where I can see the appeal to. Skydiving. Every person you just showed is not the same skin color as me. They're not like us. That's why. That's why they're doing it. But honestly, if somebody asked me to go cave hunting or cave exploring, I would probably do it. You only got so much life to live, bro. Why not get stuck in a cave? <laughs> Why not risk your life when you only got one of them? You know what I'm saying? There are some weird hobbies where I can see the appeal to. Skydiving looks like fun. I will never do parties, it. I love lemonade. But this? I, I, I can't. I can't. You rather skydive than you're cave in exploring? You're space. You can barely see or breathe, and you're like that for hours. And worse yet, the payoff. Because after you suffered in that journey, wiggling through the cave and rocks, you know what's going to be on the other side of all that? Indiana Jones. Four rocks! It's a cave. What you think you're going to discover, Batman? Not to mention you have to go back out. Nah, you might as well live there and get comfortable. Start it might be beautiful the language. in they them rocks. When you get to know them, them caverns. There ain't nothing fun about this to me. And no offense to the chat. Would y'all go cave exploring? I don't see a reason why not. Mr. Beast come up to you. I don't know what's going on with Mr. Beast right now, but that's the only YouTuber I can think of. Mr. Beast come up to you and be like, look, I give you $100,000 if you go explore a cave for six hours. Would you not do it? I'm doing it, bro. $100,000, six hours? I'm gonna explore the fuck out that cave. Every hole, every crevice. And no offense to the 20 people on the planet that like doing this. You do you, bro. But me personally, I like not I know, I'm just dying. You feel me? <laughs> Very huge tangent, but I needed that for what my next topic is. Come on. Because this has got to be the most literal brain rot shit I've ever seen. Let me you see. You probably already know it. It's yeah. that galaxy gas. Kanye on it. flavored nitrous oxide that the company advertises only meant to be used for cooking, which I'm not accusing them of anything, but I think they know who their main audience is. Now, I'm not accusing them of anything, but why I find a video of someone supposedly repping them, advertising it, at TPE 2024, a convention that's done for businesses to network their products to people looking to invest in them. But the come on, bro, this is worse than smoking cigarettes. Why are y'all inhaling gas? Not even just regular gas. Y'all are inhaling nitrogen oxide. That don't even sound like something you should put in your body. Isn't nitrogen the same thing as nitrous? 
So you could go in cars and shit. What the fuck are we doing, bro? Why the hell are people inhaling nitrogen oxide? It's not even nitrogen oxide. It's nitrous oxide, a popular inhalant drug. Where did people even get the idea of doing this dumb shit? But the thing is, this convention is known for advertising stuff you'd only see in a smoke shop. It's mm. on their website. It's on their IG. That That's their main target. I'm not accusing them of anything, though. But also, if you look through the How they get approved? website and look through the list of their sponsors, you can find them right next to Geeked Extracts right there. Uh, I'm not accusing them of anything, though. Because technically, anybody could advertise whatever product they're selling at this convention. We know but what I'm it is. I'm not accusing them of anything, though. But I doubt I see Gordon Ramsay trying to sell spatulas at this kind of convention. Mm. I'm not accusing them of anything, though. Yeah, this is meant for cooking. But most people aren't using it for that. Most people are using it to get zooted. Kind of already said this at the end of my why not just bit, smoke weed that stuff literally kills brain cells but at this point i feel like everybody already knows that niggas just don't care i'm stating the obvious feels like i'm telling people don't eat the paint chips off the wall when saying this like no duh we all know the harms of it by now but dudes still out here buying and posting their gas on their socials five, showing off 580 on some whippets bro spent 580 in a smoke shop for the members you know how i said white people do cave diving or cave exploring whatever it's called cave exploration black people do dumb shit like this smoking whippets bro i'd rather i'd rather us man i can't even defend us because we doing dumb shit why is black people are we inhaling nitrous oxide why are we finding new ways to get high when we can just take some edibles or smoke some like what the fuck is going on with my country bro buying and posting their gas on their socials showing off as if they're doing a money spread or something N niggas flexing being retarded folk niggas flexing dying CIA won, but i genuinely think they have i thought people would know better by now not to do this stuff like have y'all not seen requiem for a dream or any episode of Ren and Stippy, cause ain't no way they're sober making that. We already know the effects that these things have on the mind and body. Shit. The dudes are still using galaxy gas. And in my head at this point, it's just natural selection. You know, someone once said, don't save her. She they don't, don't want to be saved. Which I view that quote meaning, mind your business, cause you already told them a million times not to. That is true. So let them rot. Mm. I believe Genghis Khan said that. Genghis no, Khan. I, 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 I don't know who said that. I don't know who said that. situation that hasn't already been said a million times. But if you're using Wait, gas, you Wait, I'm not going to lie. Out of everybody in this picture, I'm sorry, FaZe Banks. I would believe that you would be doing some dumb shit like this. Say it ain't so, FaZe Banks. Say it ain't so, Banks. Out of everybody in this picture, chat, tell me who y'all think would be doing the whippets. He just looks like a drug dealer. I'm not going to lie. He looks like he does some type of drugs. I ain't got much more to add on this situation that hasn't already been said a million times but if you're using gas you dumb as a brick everybody around you think that too i could say this is the worst generation when it comes to trends but that's such a boomer take there's been stupid people doing stupid things in every era including the ones i look back on fondly but this is up there not gonna lie